Hey guys, my partners at DeWalt sent me over this 60 volt max cordless 9 inch cutoff saw and I just want to show you how it works cutting concrete. So I got DeWalt's 9 inch diamond blade and I'm just going to put that on. That goes on really easy, screws on, tighten it up. But I also have in behind it on the slab you can see we have a metal cutting blade. We use this, we put that metal blade on there and we can cut all our metal rebar with this too. And it cuts rebar like butter, guys. It cuts it really easy. Um, so I get the blade on. I have multiple different size batteries. There's a 9 amp right there. The 9 amp fits in there with plenty of room to spare. You can, you can use a 6 amp in here. You could use a 5 amp. And then I got my 15 amp, as you can see, coming up. I'm going to put that in. And that would last, I don't know how long, that would last a really long time in this saw. But that fits in there really easy if you got 15 amp batteries. And we're also using DeWalt's uh, battery powered water tank. So this thing's really cool. You just turn it on. It's got, obviously you put the battery in it, you turn it on, it starts the little pump and it's gonna pump you water. Uh, it's got a quick connect on it so you can connect it right to the saw. Or you could just kind of use it like a hose too if you just needed a little bit of water somewhere. But with the saw, it works really good to make it dustless. So we'll use DeWalt's ear protection, DeWalt's eye protection. And I love these DeWalt gloves. I've, I've had these same pair of gloves all summer long. This is going on like the fourth month I've had these gloves, wearing them every day in the concrete. And they're still not worn out. They work really, really good. So again, hook, quick connect up, turn on the water. Squeeze the trigger and away we go. This is about a two and a half inch thick slab of concrete. It's just, we make we make this uh, these slabs with extra concrete and then we cut them into little bricks. And I'm gonna show you just how I do that with this video, how I cut them into bricks. And we put these little bricks under mats of rebar when we're tying a rebar mat in the slab just to help hold the rebar up off the dirt or the poly. So the saw really comes in handy when we're making these bricks versus, you know, how we used to do it with like a skill saw and a diamond blade. Cuts them more than twice as fast, I'd say. You could, you could cut down through concrete about four inches, four and a half inches thick with this nine inch blade. That's about the maximum cutting depth, I would say. And as you can see with the two and a half inches, you still got a little bit of room to go there before you hit the center bolt. I thought, you know, honestly, I'm putting very little pressure on the saw. The saw is basically doing all the work. I thought it cut two and a half inches really easy. This was, it just cut them right off. Almost like I was cutting, you know, a piece of wood with a wood saw. <laughs> That's how easy a two by four. And just giving you a little bit different angle with me on the other side of the saw. And you can see how really nice the water tank works. You could adjust how fast that water comes out right on the saw if you wanted to through the through the water cord. You could have it come out. I think I got it on, actually I think I got it on the maximum right now. You could turn it down a little bit if you thought it was a little too much water. So there's my three little pieces I cut off. Turn the water off. And that's good. Now, that's DeWalt's new Tough System 2.0 storage. I'm going to have that in another video. So if you want to see that and how that works and how it goes together, you know, please like and subscribe this video. That'll be coming out on one of my next ones. So I got them all lined up. Now we're going to cut them into little bricks. You can cut just about any size you want. You know, I like probably a brick about that width and then maybe two to three inches long so when you get it under the matter rebar you know it holds really well as you're pouring the concrete up under it it doesn't just push the, the little brick out away from the bottom of the rebar and that's how that cuts right there piece, really it's a piece of cake I was really impressed with how easy this worked and it's it's actually pretty quiet you know I honestly I probably don't even really need ear protection with this but just to be safe, I'm, ha I'm wearing them. And I don't know how many bricks I could make out of that one slab, but I could make a lot of bricks to put under a mat of rebar and just save from having to buy them, you know, with all the extra concrete we, we get after a slab's done. 
we just make our own bricks. So if you if you like this saw, you know, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you got any questions. Uh, if you want to check it out, you can go to www.dewalt.com, check it out, or I'll have a link for it down below in the description of the video. You can check it out there. I thought it worked really well. And then I got my DeWalt cup, drinking my cold brew coffee. As you know, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.